Pugs are so cute and cheerful dogs. They love to play and spend time with their owners. They are also very very intelligent and they are quick learners as well. But is that all a owner sees in a dog? Nah. I would definitely want my pug to protect me, to guard me, to guard my house. But can a pug be a guard dog? Watch this next two minutes and you will get your answer right here, right now. Also, if you are new here, welcome to Petro. We make tons of dog ed dog educational videos just like this, and it's the content that you don't want to miss. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button right now, and also like the video if it was even a little bit helpful. Without any further ado, let's get into the main topic. Pugs are the kind of breeds who are well known for their affection and loyalty toward their owners. They also prefer sticking close to their owners and following them around all day long. On the other hand, a pug's calm and friendly nature shows that they would rather greet a stranger with a smile than a growling suspicion. Uh, so, do pugs make good guard dogs? Well, definitely not. They don't make a good guard dog, and you cannot expect the short, stocky pug to protect you and your family from those huge and large burglars and strangers. They are too little, but they still make a great family pets, and they can be taught to become a great watchdog. Now, what's the difference between a watchdog and a guard dog? Basically, both will protect you, but the only difference is guard dogs are ready to get physical. They will even bite the stranger if necessary. On the other hand, watchdogs will first scan the situation, uh, and if there is a, a stranger approaching the house, they will bark and they will alert you, and they will leave the rest of the situation on you, and you have to deal with the problem ahead. Now, if you look at pugs, they are originally bred as lap dogs to play and spend most of their time with their owners. So it's totally understandable that they were not bred to attack a thief or a burglar. Also, have you ever been bitten by a pug? They bite to play and not to hurt. So even if they accidentally bite a stranger, they wouldn't do any significant damage to scare them away. Also, uh, they are not large and strong like other breeds, like German Shepherds or Doberman, to scare the invader or trespass trespasser from entering the house. Uh, also, if you didn't know, they are too greedy for food and can easily be bribed with a snack or a treat. Uh, at last, uh, they are too lazy and they are too affectionate to act as guard dogs. So please don't force them to become one, since that's something not inherited in the genes. However, they do possess some watchdog characteristics. Firstly, they are super loyal to their owners and they value companionship more than most other dogs. Uh, their sense of hearing and smell is so strong that even the slightest sound of opening a fridge or a bag of chips wakes them up from their deepest dreams. Also, they are great barkers and can easily be trained to bark only on your command. Uh, all these characteristics combined with a high level of energy and uh, inborn need to express themselves by barking makes them a great watchdog. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that logo to your left and hit that red subscribe button, and it will motivate me a lot. Also, if you haven't checked our latest video, make sure you do by clicking the video right down there. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.